Oh, this is a special, this is a special, special, special bonnets and BS, y'all. Let me get myself together here. I came live so fast. I wanted to be one of the first few because I've been waiting for this day and night, just monitoring um, uh, the news, press releases, etc. Associated Press, trying to find information. And I just found out that Diagene Jackson was arrested in the United States. Let me read to you what is being said. This is actually being recorded out of Mexico, or should I say reported out of Mexico. Diagene Jackson has been placed in federal custody waiting for her extradition process to Mexico to begin. San Jose del Cabo, Baja, California, sir, during the night of November 28th, Diagene was arrested by Interpol agents after a controlled judge issued an arrest warrant against her for the crime of femicide of Shanquilla Robinson murdered on October 29th in Cabo Villa's complex in the tourist destination. Ms. Jackson was placed in federal custody waiting for her extradition process to Mexico to begin, where she will be formally accused of the femicide of the 25-year-old businessman. I'm sorry, businesswoman. Remember, I told you guys that their process is a lot different than ours. She will have a first hearing, is, and at this first hearing, she is formally uh, accused she will be told all the charges against her. And she will also be told all of the evidence against her at that time. After that, she will have another hearing. At that hearing is where she will have the opportunity to make her declaration. Her declaration is basically, okay, y'all have this against me. And this is what I have to um, basically, um, what's the word? to defend myself. This is what I have to defend myself. And this is what happened. Um, this is who was involved, et cetera, et cetera. In Mexico, the burden of proof is not on the person who is making the claims against you. It's actually on you to prove that whatever claims against you are not factual. And in order for them to actually get the um, control judge to issue uh, the warrant, they had to basically take the evidence they have and show that, yes, this is actually what happened. And here is the proof that we have to prove what happened. Okay. The extradition process took between one to two weeks, resulting from the procedure that the Attorney General's Office of Justice carried out in the Attorney General's Office of the Republic. And this in turn to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Mexico. The Attorney General's Office of the State of Baja California, sir, managed to prove that the woman who appeared in the video attacking Shanquilla is precisely Dejanae Jackson, as Metropoli MX reported at this time. Metropoli MX is the company of Geraldo in. And Zynga, I think his name is. Let me make sure I have it right. Yeah. Metropo Metropoli MX is preparing a special report that will be published in full later on with all details. So there is more information that we are expecting within the next 12 or so hours. Um, and this information will be made available. Now, um, Geraldo was nice enough to uh, put this news out there. And when he put it out there, he actually put it out there in Spanish and English, which, um, it was nice of him. So uh, we, those of us who found out about his service can utilize it and have the information in a way that we didn't have to get it um, 
translate it, which sometimes you can lose things in tra translation. So, um, basically, y'all, calling BS on this young lady. She went down there. She was so disrespectful to a person who had done so much for them by helping to make this uh, trip available for them. She helped. She paid a lot of the money. That's why she had the big, beautiful bedroom. And it was just so disrespectful of them to do her the way that they did, to record her the way that they did and to the way she attacked her. When she stopped fighting, you should have stopped uh, attacking her. Just as simple as that. So, um... At any rate, guys, I, I um, wanted to put this information out. Um, now, the interesting news is what's going to come from here. What's going to come from here? Will uh, she snitch? She's a fool if she don't. I'm sure whatever uh, the um, reason is that this altercation happened will come to the light at some point here. Um, which I can't see a reason why things were done the way that they did. Not only that, like I told you guys, um, for them to not want to get her the proper care. If the doctor came in there and told you guys that she needed to go to the, to, uh, a medical center, y'all should have done that. Should have did it. Simple as that. You should have did it. And it's just awful that they didn't. It's awful that they did not do that. It's awful that they put her out there the way that they did, that they uh, aggressed on her the way that they did. And like I said, she's the one who pretty much made the trip um, available. I think that she was the most successful of them all. It has been said, you know, that there was a lot of jealousy involved, which it just means that we as people need to pay more attention to our surroundings. We need to pay attention to the people who we call our friends. We need to pay attention to the people who we call uh, even associates. You need to definitely make sure who you have in your circle. You need to make sure who you're traveling with. You need to make sure that if you are laying there and you are not able to help yourself, that someone's going to look out for you. Not only is someone going to look out for you? But is that someone going to care enough about you that they wouldn't leave you in another country? I don't care that she had transitioned. Somebody, especially the person that called her a best friend, should have been there with her, should have been there and made sure she was good before they left. You do not leave a soldier on the field. You do not do that. You don't do that. Man, you just don't do that. Um, this is all I have to report at this time. I will have a another video coming later with more information. But at this time, I definitely wanted to make sure to make this available to you guys. Get the information out there as soon as possible. Thanks for taking the time to check me out. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, subscribe. We do cover true crime types of videos as well as we do commentary on mommy types of vlogs and other uh pop culture based types of things here um thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video now uh let me go ahead and say this too please let me know how you guys feel below and please share this with um everybody we gotta continue to push this information because this is what is making the pressure that uh they are feeling be so aggressive by us continuing to talk about this sharing the stories making them all go viral making um you know sure that everything is being handled in a certain type of way and this is one person that is in custody but we definitely want to make sure that the other people as well are adjudicated properly as well. So y'all be sure that y'all push the story. Um, let me know what you think below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.